Oh, snap. We got another slap band. Bacon! Bacon slap band. What is up people of the world, this is JoeDosauz1129, also known as the Hurkloak, here with another video, and today I will be reviewing the December 2014 Ludobot Combiner. Yes, here is Trossinator, and as you can see from the back, I already have both the original and the K-Zone Trossabot teams ready, and all I need now are the Trossinator parts. So yeah, I actually got to talk to Kuya Joe Mike on the Toy Book 7 launch. And he told me that this is the thing now. They're gonna put combiners, give them their own page, so they'll have their own bio, and they'll have instructions that, that can fit. Because before, they couldn't fit. And so, here he is. Yeah, he looks pretty scary. Yeah, he got his own art now. Giant art. And he has... Here are his, his, here's his toy card. And he has, let's see... He has three logs, two feet, two claws, uh, headpieces, he's got a sleeve, and yeah, there's his headpieces, two of them, and two sides. He's got 11 parts, oh, and he's got three logs, and yeah, let's get on to building him, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I already built his parts now. Here's his head, and here's the logs. And I like how the head is all 3D and stuff. Let's see if you can see this, guys. There it is. It's all 3D. Like, wow. This is pretty awesome. So before I get on to assembling Trossinator and comparing him with the original, let me just remind you guys of the Trossobots. So here we have Gahaman, both of them, the original and the K-Zone version. You can check out the review somewhere here. We have Pinsala original K-Zone. Once again, you can check out the review. We have who is this? Gambala. Gambala, yes. And K-Zone original. Boom. And we also have Salanta. Here here they are right there. And we have Panganib. So yeah, let's get on to building. I won't show it because it has its own instructions. You guys can probably get it. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys in a bit. So here we have him. Trussinator. Whoa. Like again, I like the 3D head. It looks really cool. Here, and it actually took me a while to build, probably 10 minutes or 8 minutes at, at most. Because the instructions, it, it was a little bit complicated for me. It's confusing. The, I had to put on these two things. They weren't in the instructions, Salanda's parts. And yeah, let's just measure him up for you guys. He's about 5, about 5 and a quarter inch. Five and a quarter inch at the top of his horn, and for comparison, I also brought out the almost as hard to build. I think he's just as hard to build. K zone version, and he fell. So yeah, here's the K zone version of Trossinator, and he is about. Let's see if we can actually five and a quarter inches. So they're about the same height, and here they are side by side for you guys. It just fell. Okay, so here they are side by side for you guys. And yeah, uh, the difference between these two guys, aside from the overall look, is that Salanta's claw parts are in the side, while in the Kazon version, they're just in Salanta. And yeah, there's some big differences here and there, but 
what really got me was the Salanta Claw placement and also the fact that the K-Zone version had three logs. That's awesome. He has three log accessories. We don't have to open pretzels anymore and put them on him. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way, because I forgot. One of them had pretzels. One of the Foldabots had pretzels in the back. I, I forgot who it was. But that's a joke. And yeah, let's get on to the bio. Trussinator is a massive forest, plundering Ludobot combiner who's dead set on destroying forests and all life in them. The carved narrow horns on his head are a testament to his brutality. His cranial smokestacks emit a poisonous gas concocted by Ludobot creator and engineer Concretron that can quickly wither plant life. Trustinator's armaments may be useful for clearing trees and taking out Foldabot standing in his way, but they weigh him down, making him sluggish and clumsy. So yeah, Trustinator was created by Concretron. Take that, Pisson. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, and yeah, he is. He looks pretty tough here. I'm guessing that he'll be able to take down Lycastron. Now, uh, Foldafan in Toy Book 7 event told me about this. His name is Fran. Shout out to you, guy. Uh, he told me that he'd be able to take down Lycastron. So, I kinda agree. Because he looks tough compared to Lycastron. And yeah, in Ludobot mode. Why am I even saying that? A loot and splat powers Trossinator. His razor sharp claws can pierce through the toughest metal. The power of the combined Trossobots boosts Trossinator's power fivefold. The active smokestacks from each tractor on his shoulders operate as pollutants. So yeah, he's pretty tough. He five times power, of course, because like all the truss, also, all the trussobots combined. That's standard for combiners. His intelligence is four, endurance is five, strength is five, speed is two, special skill is three. So intelligence, endurance, and strength are spot on because yeah, if you combine forces, you'll become smarter, stronger, and you'll be able to defend yourself better. His speed is two. That makes sense because he's a combiner. He's not the fastest. And a special skill is 3, which is okay, I guess. Okay, so I'll be pointing out the differences between the Gazon version of Trussinator and the original version. Again, I'll be pointing out Salanta, his claws are on both sides now, rather than just being mounted on Salanta. And Panganib's claw is also held by Trussinator in the Gazon version, instead of just being mounted on Panganib. And also his horns are a lighter color, they're more yellowish. And instead of brown and also his he has yellow horns now instead of just like a uh, sort of yellow thing in the middle and his face is more green than gray it's more greenish than grayish and yeah that's all i can pretty much see here so that is about it for the review guys make sure to like comment share with your foldable friends and yeah i'll be doing something different here at the end of the video i'll be posting some pictures of uh trussinator along with Likastron, I'll have him pose with Likastron, so check those out at the end of the video. And yeah, I'll see you later guys. Have a good day.